So today, you'll learn how to perform an OTG support test on your Samsung Galaxy S25. For this video, I'll be using the S25 Ultra, but these instructions will apply across the whole S25 series. So when you're performing an OTG test, all you're doing is just checking if your phone can support on-the-go Bluetooth devices. So things like USB flash drives, hard drives, all sorts of things, this test will uh, allow you to check if your phone can support those. So the first thing th that you'll need for the test is a USB storage device. So for me, I'll be using a USB flash drive, but you can also perform these tests with a USB hard drive or anything else. And then from here, you want to insert the USB device into your phone. So currently, my flash drive is not USB-C supported, which means that I'll need to use an adapter like this so that I can insert it into my phone. So I'll just connect the drive to my connector like this, and then ensure that they're connected correctly. And then you can insert the connector into your phone. So once you have inserted the USB device into your phone, you should just wait for a few seconds and once it's been registered at the top on the status bar you should see this bluetooth device or this bluetooth icon which means that it's been recognized when you swipe down for the notifications panel you should see usb storage added which means that your device has actually detected and connected to the usb storage which means that it supports otg so from here if you want to access the files that are currently on the device you want to open your files app and then underneath the storage section you should see usb storage when you tap on it you can view all the files that are currently on your usb device then from here you can just transfer the files between your s25 and the usb flash drive allowing you to switch and place app files on the both devices and so that's how you can perform an otg test on your s25 if you're ready to disconnect to the device, you can just swipe down for the notifications panel, tap on the drop down arrow, select unmount, and then it will be disconnected and you can remove the, the flash drive from your phone without harming any of the files. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.